Over the course of a week-long trip to Canada, July 24th to 29th, and repeatedly during nine speeches given across the country, Pope Francis apologized to the indigenous survivors of residential schools in Canada as they shared their painful stories with him. Pido perdón por la manera en la que lamentablemente muchos cristianos adoptaron la mentalidad colonialista de las potencias que oprimieron a los pueblos indígenas. Te traemos nuestra aridez y nuestras dificultades. Te traemos los traumas de la violencia padecida por nuestros hermanos y hermanas indígenas. He venido con espíritu penitencial para expresarles el dolor que llevamos en el corazón como Iglesia por el mal que no pocos católicos les causaron apoyando políticas opresivas e injustas. The Canadian government has estimated that at least 150,000 First Nation, Inuit and Métis children were taken from their families and communities and forced to attend the schools between 1870 and 1997. At least 4,120 children died at the schools, and several thousand others vanished without a trace. The survivors tell stories of enduring hunger, brutality, and emotional, physical, and sexual abuse at the schools, about 60% of which were run by Catholic religious orders and other Catholic institutions. On the return flight to Rome, July 29th, the Pope was asked by an indigenous reporter why he did not use the word genocide while in Canada. I don't have the word because it didn't come to my mind, but I described the genocide, and I asked him to excuse me, pardon me, for this work that is a genocide, for example. I condemned this too, no? togliere i bambini e cambiare la cultura, cambiare la mente, cambiare le tradizioni, cambiare una, una razza, diciamo così, tutta una cultura, no? Sì, è una parola tecnica, genocidio, ma io non l'ho usato perché non mi è venuto in mente, ma ho descritto che è, è vero, sì, è un genocidio, sì, sì. As he had said throughout the trip, the next step in the journey of the church and indigenous communities must be reconciliation and cooperation. Queridos amigos, estamos aquí con voluntad de recorrer juntos un camino de sanación y de reconciliación que con el auxilio del Creador nos ayuda a dar luz sobre lo sucedido y a superar el pasado oscuro. Tom,